Welcome back. You're watching Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. I'm John Tobacco. We're coming to you live as we do every day, every day from the Liquid Lunch Studios on Broadway in New York City. And uh, we got a tremendous Thirsty Thursday show for you. Before getting into our next guest, Mike Gazzali is here with us. Um, down at the New York Stock Exchange, things are looking fantastic. Um, looks like traders are coming into the new year without the ge with the geopolitical fears in Iran kind of behind us. It's stabilized at this point. A very somber and smart response from the president gave everybody some comfort that this thing might be over. Market's up 200, just bumping up against 29,000. And if it breaks through 29,000 to end this week, over 29, 30 is right there on the horizon. We'll keep you posted on that. Bitcoin just under 8,000, but on a nice run to the upside over the last couple of days. We'll keep our eye on that, and we'll be monitoring all throughout the two hours today the uh, news, breaking news that this uh, Ukrainian passenger jetliner, which was originally reported to have gone down due to mechanical failure, but uh, no, it doesn't look like that's the case. IHS Market is reporting that uh, it was mistakenly shot down by the Iranian gang that can't shoot straight, who was trying to fire them at the, at the bases that we didn't have any soldiers in, but they shot down a jetliner. We'll figure that out in a bit, and we'll figure out what's happening in the congressional race in New Jersey with the uh, mayor of Montdale, New Jersey. Mike Gazzali joins us today. Mark is with me, and Frankie's over in the Frank Zone. we got a full house going. Mike, thanks for coming back and joining us on Liquid Lunch. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me. Uh, so what's, what's happening out there? Now, I'm hearing this rumor, this new story out there that this restaurant in Bergen County canceled a, a fundraiser for you. They don't want you having a fundraiser. Are they that intolerant to, as a business owner? Are you surprised, John? Uh, since uh, kinda, uh, yeah, okay. So because I am, uh, I support uh, the president. I support uh, the Israelis. I support uh, the Second Amendment. I support the Constitution and the flag. I am labeled as way on the right, and they don't like that. So uh, let me get this straight: the restaurant owners don't want your event at their place. Well, they wanted the event. Uh, we were all set to go, and then they got some calls from uh, some people. They're saying, if you do have the event, uh, we will uh, boycott uh, your business, and uh, we may even make some noise uh, to put you out of business. So they called me yesterday. They said, uh, we can't have it, and they canceled the event on me. Martha, and, and we moved it. Martha, um, you've been on many times. We've been talking for the last <laughs> year or so almost about these key 31 yes. states that were taken over by a freshman congressman in the supposed blue wave, um, but Trump won them in the presidential. These are the ones we got to try to get back. 100%. You're doing work on this yes, all over the yes. country. So the New American Populist is a national organization. I recommend everybody going to the website for the New American Populist, um, entrenching all across our great nation in these key states. Uh, not just putting money behind what we say, we're putting feet on the street and going in and fighting for our rights, supporting the president's America First agenda, lifting up candidates that will support the president's uh, America First agenda, and holding uh, what I like to call as the bad guys accountable that aren't fighting for hardworking Americans every single day. Mikey, um, what are, how is fundraising going? Because maybe Martha can spread the word out there too that you're one of us, you're conservative, and you, you know, you're one of them, especially supporters of the president, which I am. Um, What's happening on that front, William? So our fundraising has been uh, doing really good. However, uh, the opponent, uh, uh, the incumbent, has about seventy million dollars. So money, I can't raise it as much as he, as, as much as he has. Uh, so we're uh, on track, but uh, we can always use more money. Uh, my support uh, is uh, appreciated. Uh, I'm uh, on the Sally for Congress dot com, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going forward with this. Well, you know, to that, to that, and all across the nation, what we are seeing is that you know every time uh, the the Left mentions the word impeachment. We raise a substantially more money. In Don't fact, they realize yes, that? yes. Don't in fact, the that? Trump the Trump uh, campaign has raised an unprecedented amount of money that's never been raised before in any presidential race in the history of our great nation. And so, um, I'm wondering if you're experiencing that. And then number two, with regard to uh, this this wonderful gentleman here being denied the ability to do a fundraiser in a restaurant, I want to intolerant. I want to remind you, and I'll remind everybody watching, that you may recall that Sarah Huckabee. B. Sanders was heckled and removed from a restaurant in Virginia, and that restaurant almost went bankrupt as a result of that. Oh, good. So that's good uh, to hear. Because the outrage from the public was was so incredible, 
And so I just want to perhaps remind the restaurant that denied you, denied you the ability to have your fundraiser uh, because you exactly. support Donald Trump. You know, be careful because you may end up uh, like uh, a restaurant not too Speaking long ago that almost went bankrupt. <laughs> so the day of, of the mm -hmm. vote, we mm -hmm. received about $15,000 online from people I have never met or don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're doing us a favor. Right. And uh, as far as uh, that restaurant, mm -hmm. Uh, because I'm from Syria, because I came here legally, because I am as American as they come, okay. because I supported the president, I supported mm -hmm. the Constitution, and because I stand to honor the flag every single day, they want to uh, silence me. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm here all the way to take uh, we wanna, uh, a seat back. We want to try a magic trick here. Okay. It, we've never had four people on at one time, but I want to bring in my. It's a magic trick every day when we make your bald spot disappear. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's the daily trick. This is the first ever. We uh, I want to bring in Frankie. He's over in the Frank zone. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Mayor, great to see you again. Uh, you're seeking to go to the House of Representatives today. The House is uh, taking a pretty important vote on whether or not to limit President Trump's uni unilateral authority to use force in against Iran. Now, uh, some Republicans, Rand Paul and Mike Lee, says once this goes to the Senate, they're going to vote for it. So it has some bipartisan support. How would you vote on this if you were in the House today? We can't tie his hands behind his back. There are people who mean harm to us every single day. There are 12 million people in this country. We don't know who they are. Even if 0.1% of them are bad people, that's 1,200 people who mean harm to us. We have to give him full authority to do it because this could be on moment's notice. He doesn't have the time to go to the, to the Congress and ask for the approvals. It does sound a little crazy, Frankie, doesn't it? Like, how imminent was the threat? He's the leader of the free world. He's the commander-in-chief. We got one of their guys. He just led an attack on our embassy. He's hightailing it to the airport to get out of town. He's probably up to doing something dirty very soon anyway. Let's get rid of him. That's well, not how it works. I mean, did, did President Obama uh, alert Congress or even the American people when delivering a pallet of money overseas to uh, Iran? I mean, did, that, yeah. did, did the American, was Congress notified of that? Well, I think they were. I think they kind of were, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they were all in cahoots on it. But t to me... Um, I think, again, the Democratic part of Congress is spending a lot of time here and a lot of money and a lot of effort to determine something that's so subjective. Um, what's imminent? Was it imminent? That's what they're all saying now, the new thing. Was One it imminent? One last question threat? for you, Mr. Mayor, is uh, we spoke with, a couple, with, with three Republicans that are running for U.S. Senate from your state uh, in the last month or so. Uh, I think most of them, if not all of them, they've all supported restoring the SALT deduction to where it was. Now, I know every congressman in New Jersey, including the one Republican that's there, they've all voted to do just that, only to have it killed in the Republican Senate. If you were to go to the House, where would you be voting on the SALT deduction? Well, we have to re repeal the SALT cap because it's affecting a lot of people in, in, in the district, myself included. So I, I would vote to repeal the SALT tax. Fantastic. Uh, where can people go to your website to learn more about your campaign? GasaliforCongress.com. GasaliforCongress.com. Go check out Mike if he's your cup of tea. Maybe you can give him a couple of bucks. He's got a bunch of competition, um, but he's a leader. He's a mayor. He's been in an executive position. He wants to go down to Washington, fight for you, and support our president. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back right after this with the Metropolitan Magazine Report. Chase Backer is here with his friend and friend of the show, Carol Holt. Right after this. <laughs> 